Good morning everybody, this is the Music Note or DVGTS1 on YouTube. I've just recently acquired this Rat3 mouse from Cyborg Gaming because my Death Adder mouse died on me. Thank you very much, Razor. Now, uh, let's see the box first. There's nothing much to it. Nice presentation, odd shape, but who cares. It's got um, the mouse in it. A CD-ROM with uh, the driver and a smart technology program and a publisher catalog on it. Nothing much inside, but then again, you only pay 50 euros for this. It's not expensive at all. It's um, it's actually pretty cheap for a mouse of uh, this quality. I was pretty surprised when I saw the price. Now, um, what it has. Three uh, programmable buttons, of course. Uh, two thumb buttons, one on a scroll. Uh, a DPI switch you can go forward or backwards. Uh, a mode button right here. You don't really see it because it's not on, but um, if I turn it on, you will hear a constant buzz because my computer is that noisy. So that's why I turn it off. And that's pretty much to it. On the Rat 5, on the Rat 7 and Rat 9, you get the white system on the back, uh, metal chassis, um, adjustable panels, and replaceable panels, actually. But if you're a casual gamer like me, the Rat 3 is just largely enough. You don't need fancy weights or replaceable panels or stuff like that, unless you're an extreme gamer. Now... Um, it's very ergonomic actually, even though it doesn't look like it's comfortable. It's actually very comfortable. Do not judge by its appearance. Um, it just fits right in my palm actually, maybe because I have small hands, but everything is there where it should be. The mode button, DPI switch, uh, thumb buttons, they're in a perfect position, honestly, not too low, not too high. Um, honestly, when I first got it in hand, I was very happy with it. <laughs> now, um, there is something to it. It doesn't say on the box that it has an adjustable polymerist, but it actually is adjustable. I'll show it to you. If you just take off this screw, you can actually take off the pinky panel. And you'll normally see that there's a screw right here. Now, I already took it off. But once you take it off, you can actually adjust this. I know, it's crazy, isn't it? Normally you're not supposed to, but you can. If you just have the tools. <laughs> There's even markings to it. I mean, maybe it was maybe it was put in there on purpose, but they, they didn't mention it on the box. I mean, why? That just takes the mouse up to a level, another level. So you can adjust it to your uh, to your likings. There's actually four holes in there, four positions, but that's better than nothing. I mean, that's great. I thought that, I thought you could adjust it. It's not written on a box, but well, I just leave it in the stock position because I have small hands. Now um, I'm going to compare this to my um, Death Adder mouse. So, as you all know, the Death Adder is a pretty good overall mouse. You know what I'm saying, and um, well, I'll just sum it up to you. It's more precise, it's quicker, not sluggish, and it's lighter. Because I don't like well, this is really personal, but I don't like heavy mouses, and the death adder is just so heavy, it just hurts your wrist at the end. And it's also pretty sluggish in terms of precision, it's pretty good, but this just blows the death adder into pieces it's incredible it's that precise if you're a casual gamer get this mouse it's just perfect 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 everywhere it really is a groundbreaking mice mouse uh, sorry like uh, gadgetoid says right there it has I think the highest ratings on the internet if I'm not mistaken one gave it a 98 out on 100. That's really high. 
So on my scale from 1 to 10, I give this a 9, indeed. I've never had a mouse as precise as this, it's just unbelievable.